Back in oh, see now he's home. Vlog in the vlog. <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome to another week update of this, and uh, I assure you guys, I've actually worn this outfit in videos from like five years ago, this same exact one, and this is how much weight I lost. None. I'm still the same size as I was when I was 19. Anyways, so this week, uh, like I said, I'm going to try to keep pushing the envelope and trying new stuff, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. And uh, with that said, uh... Let's move right into it. So for a change of pace, guys, these are my eyes. You can't see my mouth. You don't even know if I'm actually talking right now. I am, I promise. But for a change of pace, it's not raining, guys. And let's uh, take a step outside so you can see that it's burned. And I just had a door almost shut on me. I almost died, guys. I almost died. You know, let's not be uh, mistaken, guys. A lot of you guys think that I have jokes when I do this. It's not jokes, it's actually depression. Walmart puns. I believe this segment will be grape. I could be wrong, but let us find out. I don't know if I'll have mushroom for other stuff. This stuff, making puns, is a piece of cake. Guys, I'll try not to make this too easy. If I'm walking around Walmart doing this, I have some real balls. Remember guys, Pot is not good for you. Pan also kills. You know, a lot of people think I'm a really good boy, but the fact is I've actually been on charges for assault and battery. Just remember, someone out there thinks you are the gorilla of their dreams. That might have been a recycled joke, but I'm not a cheetah. I'll make sure that you know that. Let me see those thumbs up on this video. Manliest bath bomb ever. Weird flex, but okay. I'm beginning to think this wasn't a bright idea. I scream, you scream, people at Walmart looked at us weird. Let me just espresso myself. Oh, sorry guys, but this segment sucked. Hey guys, so uh, this is going to be one of the few more serious parts of my uh, videos that I do here, and I hope you're okay with that. If not, too bad, it's happening. So I've decided for, as I've been talking about this year, I'm going to do a lot more with this page. I want to make a bigger impact with this, what I do, what, how it affects me, how it affects people around me, and uh, I'm starting with something small. And my first project I want to do with this page that I will be doing until I get it done is uh, I've decided I want to get a hundred pictures with a hundred different people. It, and I mean, you know, just like the Facebook selfie, but and when I say that, it won't be with my camera. I will actually be doing it with my Nikon. This camera right here. So it will be a pretty good uh, quality picture. And uh, there are a lot of reasons, both personal and professional, that I chose this as a project. And I'll get into that a little bit so you guys can kind of understand why I'm doing this. And the uh, main reason is, so far this video is pretty much, these videos have just been me or Sky or just me and a few little clips of other people. I want to start bringing more people into this. I want to start creating more interest for other people to watch and see what I do. And I figure getting a hundred pictures with a hundred different people, whether it's friends, whether it's complete strangers, just anyone willing to do this with me to let them know that I'm going to be documenting it and at the end it's going to be like some kind of slideshow or something on here of all the photos I've taken you know that might stir up a little interest and get more people interested in what I do here because uh, let's face it as a youtuber I do make this content for myself but the more views I get the more people who are interested in what I do the better I'm gonna feel the more effort I'm gonna put into getting better the more effort I'm gonna put into going from here to here to here to here and you know it's just you know call me vain or whatever but you know I don't see or have the motivation to spend like six seven hundred dollars on one piece of equipment if you know only like five six people are going to be watching this and then so that is more of the personal or professional reason I'll be doing this on a more personal this is actually going to be 
a first push at me more why I made this YouTube, and that is I I have pretty bad social anxiety. I have a lot of downer thoughts. I actually am terrible at approaching people in life, so I figure pushing myself through this to get these hundred pictures, you know, it's going to put me out of my comfort zone for this. It's going to kind of put that in my mind where, you know, you can actually do this stuff and nothing bad's going to happen. And then, I've always had been the type of person that I will just double guess whether I'm liked by people around me or not, and I think having this project where I have people who are willing to take a picture with me, people who are willing to go and make this YouTube thing happen for me, I think that'll be a little bit more peace of mind for me where I can feel a little more comfortable in my own skin. I know, I mean, it's nothing like super amazing or groundbreaking, but, you know, like I said, it's about personal growth, and this is something that I'm going to personally grow with. I, uh, I will be starting this, like, now, so as I see people who want to take pictures with me, I will be doing this, and once I get to 100, we will do the vlog, I will make that, and... The big thing that I'm really excited about is, my big plan is, once I get these hundred pictures, what I want to do is get them all printed out and make like, and just, this wall behind me will just be all these pictures of people that I've, uh, basically brought onto my YouTube, people that, who have showed some sort of support for what I do, and, you know, in my weird little overthinking mind, I think that'll be a big like inspiration when I see that I'll see a hundred different people who are rooting for me and I think that's something beautiful so that is why I've decided to take this on as a project and with that said guys if you see me on the streets if you pass me at Walmart I will probably have this and the camera I'm recording on unless I'm on the clock which I've been informed that I'm not allowed to have them on me but uh, I will most likely have it, and I'm willing to, uh, doesn't matter who you are, how old you are, what size you are, what, if you're super hot, or, you know, like me, just super average, you know, this whole vlog, there's no discrimination, there's no, you know, I, anyone who wants to watch it, anyone who wants to support it, and reach out, and be, I like what you do, I don't like what you do, I would like to see this, I will listen to because who the hell am I to turn any opinion like that away guys. So you know, we'll get this project started now and hopefully it won't be too long before you guys see this happen. Thank you and uh, back to the shenanigans. Shenanigans! I don't know what the f*** that was. So I was recently informed that when I listen to different music, I tend to act in a different manner and become a completely different person. I personally think this is ridiculous. I don't think that that's true, but, you know, because this is a place to find this stuff out and get you guys to see if people are just lying to me, uh, we're going to try something here. And I uh, came up with a playlist of a few of uh, the songs I listen to the most. And we're going to play them and see if you guys notice any change in who I am as a person. So this should be fun. And we're going to get right to it. And this is Panic! The Disco, who if you know me, I am actually obsessed with Brendan Urie. So we're going to play uh, L.A. Devotee. And here we go. I don't feel any different. I mean, I still feel pretty much myself. Maybe it's just... uh. Not this song, let's try something a little different. Uh, Alright, so I guess next will be uh, Cardinals by the Wonder Years. So we'll uh, pull that up because we all know that I am in love with the Wonder Years. That is my favorite band. And Cardinals, here we go. I mean, I guess I feel a little more depressed than I did before, but these guys. They do that to me, and that's why I love them, and that is uh, all there is to it, but 
besides that, I don't feel any different as a person, so I mean, I guess that's two for two, guys. I have not changed whatsoever. Alright, so I guess we're just gonna have to move to the next song, and, uh, this, uh, this one's gonna be a little sad, uh, a little bit harder for me. This is, uh, We Came As Romans, and... We all know that uh, Kyle from We Came As Romans did pass away this last year, and uh, this is going to be a little rough for me, but, you know, for YouTube, here we go. Okay, yeah, this this, uh, this hurts a little bit, remembering how much I enjoyed seeing this band the few times I saw them, and knowing Kyle's gone, and that does hurt a little bit. A little bit, but I mean, I guess, uh, aside from that, I mean, I don't see any real change in who I am as a person, so to all you people who have been telling me that this is changing who I am as a person, I say to you, I don't know if I'm going to be able to that out. I apologize to all small children watching out there, that is not aimed at you, but, no, oh, again, that's three for three, I really don't see how I've changed in any way, shape, or form. Uh, Alright, so I guess uh, we'll just have to keep trying and see if we can catch any change whatsoever. So, uh, I think we're gonna have to pick up the uh, pace a little bit here and uh, go with uh, one of my favorite bands of all time, and that's Blink. Because if you guys understood how much I still listen to Blink-182, you would be absolutely disgusted. So with that said, here's a uh, blink. All right, so yeah, this definitely takes me back. This is uh, this was my jam when I was a teenager. So this is good. This is good. I'm in a better mood now, and that's a good thing. Uh, no, I haven't noticed any change in myself yet. So I guess. You know, we are, uh, we're looking good on this. I, I think that I am proving that music really doesn't affect the way I act, drink, think, dress, any of it. So, we have a uh, winner here. But let's just keep it going. We got two or three more songs to do, just to make 100% sure. And next is uh, The Wildlife, which I will uh, pull up their song, Positively Negative, and we'll see if there's any change in the way I am at all. And here we go. Okay, I guess this one has had a little effect on me. I kind of feel like doing more summery stuff, and it's about a half a degree outside, so I can't do that, which is, is kind of just letting me down. But I guess I see a little bit of change in who I am as a person right now, because I'm in a little bit better of a mood. I kind of want to go out and skateboard and uh, do summery stuff, but yeah, what you gonna do? I guess uh, we've got two more songs for you, and uh, I want to change it up because this has been a lot of more emo-y stuff, so uh, we're going to pull up a little something different, and uh, I think we've got two more songs, and uh, something you guys may not know about me is I'm absolutely in love with ska music, and over the summer... Thanks to my boy Johnny D and the Punkin' Drublick Festival, I found out about this band, The Interrupters, and we're gonna try that now, see if that affects anything at all. And go. Yeah, I guess, you know, I'll give it this one. Sky usually puts me in a pretty decent mood, and uh, this is no exception. I am actually uh, very happy right now, very much ready to uh, do something fun and go out and be happy, but. Now, if you can listen to Sky and not just be thrilled with life, like, I think the best description is being inside of a 13 years head after finding out the girl that you have a crush on has a crush on you too, that is what Ska does to you, and everyone should listen to at least one Ska song once a month. That is my uh, personal belief. Alright, so we got one more song, and aside from that, so far, I've only felt, seen a few little changes, I mean, obviously just little mood things, not a big thing, but uh, because, you know, I want to share with you guys and not hold back, I'm now going to play my, uh, my biggest uh, guilty pleasure 
So uh, we're gonna see how listening to Ariana Grande changes how I act. And here we go. It's a pickle. Get it? Cause pickles are shaped like male body parts. And Ariana Grande is hot. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little bit. I actually put a lot of thought into this. Which may be really good or really sad. I don't know. You guys let me know. But this has been fun. And I'm really hoping to do more stuff like this on this page. If you guys enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. And uh, let me know I'm doing alright. Guys, thanks for watching. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. If you f***ing hated it, give it two thumbs up. Find a way to give it two thumbs up and do that. Anyways, uh, I really hope you guys are enjoying this. I've noticed that uh, my views are kind of going a down pretty off rapidly. And I am trying to get them back up. So definitely give this a view. Tell all your friends about this. Post this on social media. I don't care. I just want to see this video get past 30 views. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, do whatever you got to do. And uh, thanks for watching. Give me your feedback in the bottom. And we'll do this again Saturday. Millennial Lifestyle.